Hello everybody, my name's Tyler Trani, and welcome to a museum of dubious splendor. A different type of game who could be considered as a game in a similar vein as a walking simulator? I would say. I, 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 I don't know exactly <clears throat> what to expect. Like, the creators of this game on Steam have a similar game coming out this summer, and one of the tags that was, that was used for the game was experimental. So, I would say <clears throat> that this game might also be kind of experimental type of game who isn't a game game. Kind of like Stanley's Parable, who is a game, but isn't a game. You game? You, you understand? I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm saying. Click mouse begin. The following work is an adaptation of the collection of a collection of stories written by Gujarati Sorry if I mispronounced the name. Poet Mir I'm not gonna read that. <clears throat> I'm not gonna read that. I'm sorry. I can't I can't pronounce it correctly. I I, I don't I, I I don't I I mean have you seen my Doki Doki Literature Club Let's Play? Come on! <laughs> Reading? Me? What? Ooh. Ah, okay. Ah! <laughs> what the heck just happened? Come on, Tyler. Are you scared? Oh! It's the door! Okay. That's what's making the sound! A lovely door sound! That's always good. Gets... Mmm. The ambiance. Oh, okay, so I used the scroll to select the options. Stay? I mean, there's so much to explore here. Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's why it scared me, because I was going towards the... Uh, okay. It's going towards the door, so it opened for me. Oh no, there's reading. No. Oh my gosh. It's a giant tape. Oh my gosh, there are more doors. Oh my gosh. There's so much reading. I'm pretty sure like all the doors have stories interconnecting them. So I think I'm just going to explore and if you're interested in reading the stories yourself, which again, you probably should because I, I'm, I'm such a fan of reading, man. Mm. <clears throat> such a fan. Ooh.
Pretty. If I go here, what does it lead me to? <coughs> Oh no! Okay, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think I'm actually able to, uh, to explore. This game is so trippy. I wonder how many rooms are there. Wondering what type of improvements, like the creators of this game, there's like a page, there's like another game that they're making, that certain assets in this game, in this game, I've seen in the screenshots for their next game. So I, I wonder if somehow. It's basically a type of remake, improvement, upon this game. I don't know. Maybe. Join box of matches. <clears throat> so many choices. How am I supposed to find my way? The textures are so weird. It's so pretty. It's so trippy. Was I here? Was I not here? I don't know anymore. I wasn't here. Oh, I remember seeing this in the trailer. I remember, I, I, I've done some something like this before. Like, having a camera connected to the TV and then filming the TV that's filming the TV that's filming the TV. Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> it's kind of odd that these... Uh, the things here are whoa what 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 there's no door should I have read is the TV Ugh. oh is it done 
Was that it? Mm-hmm. Is anything not in Technicolor anymore? I'm just I'm just saying. What is Technicolor nowadays? Okay, let's try again. <clears throat> so I'm starting to understand here what may have caused. Like, it's pretty. It's really pretty. The sound design is... Not horrible. It's not horrible. The, the, the door sound is... Took me by surprise. And the idea behind it is also kind of interesting. Although... Depending on what... Oh, the texture was like that all the time. Depending on what exactly the the team the developers try to convey it really depends I wonder if it's the same story on that side it's probably the same story right sounds You know, this, this experimental game kind of reminds me of the hidden level of uh, Stanley's Parable, the one where we see all of the um, development process. And that being said, I mean, if I would have done the game, I think I would have done something along those lines of, uh, of free roaming, of a free roaming actual museum that you're able to go through every door, and... Oh no! I'm back here! No! Oh no! I went the wrong way! Was I paying attention? Because I don't necessarily remember. Like, I feel like these things might be connected to something, like... Like if I actually bothered looking at which door... Well, at least these are different rooms. So, that's cool. But yeah, like I said, if the game allowed me to navigate through all the rooms and they were place, like door one was connected to a door two, not necessarily the room connected, not necessarily, like spa spatially, sure. I understand that how the doors are placed, it's impossible for room A and room B to be different rooms, but if the rooms were sp 
like, connected into the doors or portals, in a sense, similar to uh, in Portal 2, where point A and point B were connected, even though the rooms are at two different places completely. <clears throat> Or just like this, that we fade in and fade out to the next room, and and instead of popping at this place, we actually pop at where the door connects, so we can go back to the room before, and we can not get lost in a museum, and navigate and explore the entire thing, because... There is a way to to make it more appealing. I can't say like No, not again. What? Oh no. And I mean, another way that the story could have been interwoven, like, this is a room. This room, before I entered the room, had a story that was being read before. So I'm assuming that the room has an interconnection, ha has a deeper meaning behind it. I'm assuming that there's a link between the story and the room that I'm in. Logistically, I would assume that it is. That being said, if the story would have been narrated while I'm in the room, exploring it, like a, uh, well, like a tour guide, whispering in my ears, explaining to me the story. Not necessarily explaining to me the room, but explaining to me the story. Oh no. Oh. Two doors. Mm-hmm. Oh no, not again. I wanna explore more rooms, oh. Oh no, I've seen that. But yeah, it would have been interesting to see the rooms actually connect to something, even though it's an illusion of connection. Because it would allow me to, to actually be able to find myself spatially within the museum. And I'm glad that I... Not seeing exactly the same rooms again and again as the first time around. Anybody know what these words are? Oh! Was that the exit? It didn't have any numbers. Ooh, I didn't see that the first time.
boom. Okay. Okay. Like, visually, it's interesting. It's visually interesting. There were there, there would be certain things that I would personally have done differently. Like making it making it easier to navigate. And well <clears throat> Well, that being said, if the budget of the game didn't actually include enough for for voice acting, I would have probably done something similar to there's an exhibit, the room is the exhibit, there's a, there's a plaque at the main exhibit like the ear, the gun, the uh, the knife. There's a plaque that you're able to click on it and read the story. Although, that being said, a small game like that, sure, I mean, I mean, voiceover would have been something interesting to hear, to have every time I enter a room and there's a story connected to that room that I hear the story. And the game is not linear, as we've seen, that door on the left went one way, door on the right went another way. Certain rooms that were the same, but I think it's because there are certain rooms that interconnect. So... Which brings me back to if door A... If room A and room B connected through a door, and you could go from door A to door B, and really go back and forth and just explore all the possible combinations of room, like if you were really in a museum and you were really like trying to explore everything, it could have been interesting, but that's my opinion. I don't know what you think, so who knows? Who knows exactly? M maybe you don't like my idea. Maybe you do. You could you could leave it in the comment section down below. I mean, what do you think? If you want to read all the story and explore all of the possible rooms, which I'm sure I haven't, there's a link in the description down below for you to play it. If, like I said, the developers are making a game which visually seems similar so again I don't know it it has a different title so maybe it's based around the same theme but done differently so who knows exactly how that exper experimental game that they're doing will work who knows so, thank you everybody for watching this video, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, don't forget to leave a comment, section a comment in the comment section down below for any other games you would like me to play, any other suggestions, or stuff and stuff and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and ring that bell to get notified, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!